Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're in the massive German city of Frankfurt, which has 700,000 people that live in the downtown area of Frankfurt between the two rivers. And in the greater Frankfurt area, there's over 4 million people, which makes it one of the largest cities in Europe. And we're going to be spending the day today showing you as much as we can see in one day. So, if you're new here, by the way, my name is Mac. And I'm Chelsea, and we are currently traveling around the world making travel videos to hopefully inspire you guys to do the same. So, we'll see you guys at our first spot. Ho, ho. Alright guys, so our first stop here in Frankfurt is to get some traditional refreshment and food. So we are outside of one of the most famous places to get Apfelwein or apple wine and grüne sauce or green sauce in Frankfurt. So apple wine is essentially alcoholic apple juice and the green sauce is made up of seven different herbs and of course some cream to make up the sauce. You are supposed to eat them or drink them, eat, drink them together because that apple vine is supposed to kind of break up the creaminess of the green sauce. So we're really excited to try them and we'll let you know how they are when we're done. Right. All right, guys, just finished trying the apple vine and green salsa. <laughs> it was a little bit too loud for us to record in there, so we'll overlay the clips here so you guys can see what it looks like. But basically, yeah, we had these like huge filet ox beef. I don't know, they were huge. We probably could have easily split a plate, but we tried to eat our own. And then you dip it in this massive bowl of the green salsa. I'm saying that wrong. How do you say that again? The green salsa. Green salsa. And I thought it was delicious. Chelsea thought it was okay. Uh, I mean, it's not gonna be my favorite meal in the entire world, but it definitely tasted German and it was really delicious. <laughs> uh, and then it came with a side of potatoes too. And so for the two of us to eat with an apple vine, it was about 40 euros total uh, with a small service charge on there. So not too bad to try it at the best place in Frankfurt. Uh, would still definitely recommend it, even though Chelsea isn't as much of a fan. Well, okay, so yeah, I wasn't the biggest fan of the Grüne Sosa, but the apple vine was really good. It's definitely sweet and a little sour. It's typically made of Granny Smith apples. Um, so be prepared for that, but so you kind of sip it slowly, but it's still really nice. And you can also, when it's cold, typically get it warm as well with like a cinnamon stick inside. So I, I'd like to try that too. So I would come here for the apple vine. I think Mac would come here for both the apple vine and the Grüne Salsa. But regardless, it's a really famous cuisine in Frankfurt that you should try. This is a bit of a change for us because we've been used to the 70 to 90 degree weather and now we're in like 45 degree weather freezing and we definitely don't have winter clothes packed in our bags so we're doing multiple layers to survive the cold need a pair of gloves very badly though well we didn't get gloves but we did get warm coffees to warm us up while we walk to the next spot all right guys we're at our second place to show you in Frankfurt which is Sachsenhausen I'm a little bit disappointed because you probably don't see too much going on here and especially with what I'm about to tell you this place is so Sachsenhausen right here where we're at is a top spot in Frankfurt to go out. It's filled with bars and cobblestone roads. Literally, there are so many places to go out and I'm pretty sad right now because we can't even enjoy a beer and we're only here just for today where we'll be exploring. So regardless though, if you guys come, definitely come later in the evening so you can enjoy a pint or maybe 10 pints <laughs> uh, and maybe have an extra one just for us, please. Right when we arrived here though, I, I recognized a German word and it said Kneipe. And I was like, that sounds very familiar. And it was the first German phrase I learned. And it was Gien Vien der Kneipe. Probably bad pronunciation, but it means let's go to the pub. And more of a slang version. So I found my first Kneipe. And we can't even have a beer at it. But yeah, guys, check this place out. We're here in Old Town. It's beautiful. It's so cool. Even right now, even though nothing's going on, it's still pretty cool to just walk around and check this place out. So we'll see you at the next spot.
Okay, so our next spot is called Main Kai, which is actually a park area on both sides of the river. So you'll see it here behind me, and then you'll see it also across the river over there. So this place is known for a picnic with friends or family, maybe grabbing a couple beers. It's also a great place to sit along the river and watch the sunset. All right guys, so we're arriving to the Eisenstick Bridge. And this thing is loaded with quite a bit of history actually. It's a, I guess, bike and walk only bridge that's been rebuilt twice. The first time was to be able to fit larger boats under it. And then the second time was when it was blown up uh, back during the World Wars. And so now it is a really nice spot to come walk around. It's also known because everywhere is covered with love paddle locks. So you can come here with your loved one and get a paddle lock added right here to this beautiful bridge and another thing to add in is that it's best to visit this place during sunset so we're i think probably like an hour and a half still away from sunset and you get a nice reflection of the beautiful sunlight just sitting here right on the river and right against the city as well so come check this place out all right so another thing about eisenstieg also known as the iron bridge is that it connects actually the old town so saxonhausen where we just were to the main part of frankfurt city frankfurt proper so we are now crossing into frankfurt proper and we'll show you what it's all about all right, so pretty much right after you get across the Eisner Steg, a couple minutes walk pretty much straight off of it and you're in Rumaberg, which is actually like a medieval square in Frankfurt. So it definitely gives Frankfurt, which is a pretty big city with a lot of skyscrapers, a nice kind of old town feel. It's surrounded by restaurants and shops, definitely a place you should check out. So guys, we're at our next spot here, which is Klein Markt Hall. And it is this huge market here, even though it says Klein, it feels pretty big to me, um, that you can get so many different things. It's open six days a week here, every day but Sundays. A lot of things aren't open usually on Sundays in Germany. And literally everything from restaurants all over here to sliced meat, cheeses, spices, um, a whole bunch of different fresh produce, booths, and there's a total of over 150 stalls. I think the exact number is 156 stalls. So there's really so many different things you can get here and everything looks so good. All right guys, we just arrived to our next spot here which is An der Hauptwache. What does that mean? I have no clue. <laughs> so this place, it is quite westernized. I wouldn't say it's gonna give you some taste into German culture, but it is really nice because I found gloves, like I've been looking for, for only one euro and 50 cents per pair, a three pack, no, a two pack for three euros uh, at Primark. So you can basically get anything you want in this area. There are all your standard shops, you know, from H&M to Sephora to Primark, you have restaurants, a whole bunch of different, uh, you know, places to go and see. And uh, also you kind of get a taste into like the Frankfurt life. Uh, I mean, there are so many people here and it's freezing out still. So that's how you know it's a really hot shopping spot. There's also even club life on here, which Chelsea will be going to experience very soon. I think this Friday. So a lot to see and do here. Come check it out. I wouldn't say it's our favorite thing to do here, but it's definitely a good spot to come and see if you need to buy anything. Right 
All right guys, so we are at our final stop for the day, which is the observation deck of the main tower. It's actually the fourth tallest tower in Frankfurt, and that actually makes it the fourth tallest building in Germany. It costs seven dollars or seven euros and fifty cents to get up per person. It's got incredible 360 views of the entire city. We're actually here at sunset, which is pretty amazing to watch the sun go down from up here. Definitely a place to check out if you're ever in Frankfurt. All right, guys. So that wraps up our recommendations of things to do in Frankfurt. And we were only here one day exploring the city. Obviously, Frankfurt is a massive city. There's no way we could cover everything in this video, but we had a great time doing this, especially if you're just doing like a one night layover and stopping in Frankfurt. This could be a great itinerary for you to see a fair amount of the city. Have a good time and make sure to stop at that Kneipa to get yourself a nice cold one. So guys, Chelsea and I are gonna be traveling all around the world for the next at least year. And we're gonna be making so many more travel videos with content like this for you guys. So hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you like the video, and we'll see you in the next video.